Hello and uh, welcome to your second tutorial on uh, making a Space Invaders game. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to move the space uh, spacecraft around and add some handlers. So we want to add some methods to uh, handle events. So what we're going to do is we're going to call document.addEventListener and we're going to give it um, uh, an event to listen for and the first one we're going to give it is key down so whenever uh, the user presses any key down that's going to call this function and this function is going to take um, some parameter I'm going to call it E and um, it's going to be able to use that to get some information about what uh, event the user invoked so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to create a variable uh, called events and this is going to be a dictionary if you don't know what a dictionary is it's just a map from one thing to another so it could be a map from a string to a number from an object to uh, an integer it could be any any sort of map so what we're going to do here is we just want to see we just want to keep track of what events have been triggered so far so um, we're going to say if the user presses something down, events, um, and now we want to give it a key, and the key that we're going to give it is uh, the event that was triggered. So the way you do that is you say e dot key code, and that um, that will return the number that's associated with the key that you triggered. So for example, h might be like 86. And so now we've uh, we specified that. So for an array, you always specify an index, right? But here we can just a specify a general key. And we're going to set that key to be equal to true, just so that we can recognize if something has been uh, pressed down. And then we need to add um, a last parameter, um, which basically just asks, which basically just controls whether or not we capture the event. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for when the user um, lifts his finger off of the key. And that will trigger a key up event. So we're going to add a listener to that. And whenever that happens, we're going to call this function, just, just like we did with key down. And it's going to um, delete the key. So basically, when we check, when we check to see if or if what, uh, the user has uh, pressed that key, it will no longer be in the dictionary, which means he's no, which means he's no longer holding it down. Um, yeah, and then we just need to add false. Okay, now what we're gonna do, um, I just need to add a semicolon there, uh, is we're gonna tr we're gonna create a spaceship um, variable. Which keeps track, which is going to keep track of all of the things um, that are going on with the spaceship. So we can, for instance, make a, make a map uh, for its X position. And for now, it's the 300 Y position. We'll set that to uh, 350. And um, and let's say for later in the game, uh, we'll add the health too. And we'll set that to I don't know 100. Okay, so that's going to store uh, the spaceship's uh, current attributes, and um, and then when we when we render the when we render uh, our screen, we're going to want to uh, paint the spaceship at its x and y coordinates instead of those uh, static ones. Okay, um, now whenever we want to uh, whenever we render, we want to check whether the user has uh, is currently pressing down a key. So what we're going to say is if um, actually we need to figure out what uh, the different keys uh, correspond to. So for this just go on any uh, JavaScript site and we can look and see what uh, what numbers correspond to what um, key events. So for instance uh, the left key is the number 37. So we're going to say if 37 in um, in events. So if that key is in the dictionary, 
then we know the user is currently pressing down left. So what do we want to do? Well, we want the spaceship, um, the spaceship's X position to, um, to shift to the left. So for now, we're just going to move it by five, let's say. Okay, and now we want to do the same thing um, for the other ones. So uh, I'm just going to repeat this for the other methods. Now, what was 38 again? Up. Okay, so 38 is when the user presses the up key, which means um, uh, the Y coordinate has to uh, decrease. And the reason that the Y coordinate decreases when uh, the player is holding up is because um, on the canvas, Y starts at zero over here and then moves down. Uh, to a high value down here. So when we press up, we want it to shift upwards like that. So we subtract. Okay, and now we just repeat this again. Thirty-nine would be right. So we increase x. And the last one uh, this would be down, so we're gonna increase y. Actually, I left something out a little bit. If we just put x here, that's currently undefined, right? What what is defined though is um, spaceship. Uh, spaceships x. So what we're going to do is we're going to say spaceship dot x, just like we were we were working with down there. Okay, so now that that is done, um, I think we're finished. So let's have a look at our uh, our result. So that's the scene we had before, but now if you press the arrow keys, you can move your spaceship around. Okay, so we accomplished what we needed to do, um, and I'll see you next video.